Well, good morning and welcome to worship. My name is Pastor Chrissy Salser, and I am one of the pastors here at Servant United Parish. Servant United Parish is a geographic parish that has locations in Anchor, Shanoa, Cornell, Dwight, Gibson City, and Sibley. Currently, we will we are worshiping online at servantsunitedparish.org, or you can hear us at Moments of Grace, which is on Sunday mornings on WGCY 106.3 in Gibson City. We are grateful you are worshiping with us, and Pastor Jim and myself are praying for you during these times of change. Please join us either here on Sunday mornings for worship. You'll find all our services here on YouTube or a link from our website, www.servantsunitedparish.org. Also during the week, we offer two Bible studies. On Thursday evenings, seven o'clock, we have a Zoom study and uh, we gather and have some time of fellowship and catching up. And then we spend some time in the Word. Uh, your, in your bulletin this morning is the Zoom invite information. Also, on Friday mornings, we meet together. The women of Servants United Parish gather for a Bible study. Currently, we are looking at the Minor Prophets and studying Micah. We just finished Micah. So, we invite you to join us here and when we can be together in person again. Take the time and call your neighbor.
I invite you to read the litany for Ascension Day. Because Jesus ascended and sits at the right hand of God, a new world has broken into ours. A world in which justice does come to the poor, freedom comes for the prisoners, and healing for the sick. Because Jesus ascends and sits at the right hand of God, a new community has been formed. A community that loves and cares for all members. A family that welcomes all who are abandoned and rejected. A place where all find a place of belonging. Because Jesus ascended and sits at the right hand of God, a new creation has begun. All that was distorted is being restored. All that is corrupt is being renewed. And all that was broken is being made new. Because Jesus ascended and sits at the right hand of God. God's new world has begun. I invite you to gather in singing with us our gathering hymn, Crown Him with Many Crowns. <laughs> to join together with me saying the prayer of the day. Almighty God, your Holy Son was taken into the heavens and in your presence intercedes for us. Receive us and our prayers for all the world. And in the end, bring everything into your glory. 
through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Good morning, boys and girls. As I sit here and listen to the birds chirping and see the sunrise and the sun shining this morning, I'm thinking of you and I'm thankful for you. For you and I are the church. I know we're not gathering in our building, but we are gathering in our living rooms across the church, across the world. We are gathering because we are the church. The church is not our building. Church is the people, you and me, children of God, living the gospel, praying for our neighbors, feeding and clothing those in need. So as you encounter Christ today, May you know that you are loved as the body of Christ. We are called to share Christ with our neighbor. I know that may look different than going to church on a Sunday morning and actually going to physically be together and worshiping God. But know that as you gather this morning with your family, others are gathering across the world and we are the church living what God called us to be for our neighbors. Hear this today. You are loved, beloved children of God. And you and I are the church. Amen. Acts, chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until a day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions to the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them with, during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up, up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Man of Galilee, why do you stand looking towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you to heaven, will come in the same way you saw, as you saw him go into heaven. 